the media to me is more important. The actual media used is, if you're looking for a subject, I think I would look more towards the media. The medium is the message, right? So I, I think that's more important. The actual figure, um, it's a way to access it. I think a lot of us work out how to, do, so your baby comes into the world and it looks at faces. Really, it's important that it looks at the face and tries to understand. And that's the only language we have for that first part. And it's really the primary language we carry on into adulthood. We look at each other's faces and we try to understand the emotions and the feelings more than the words could say. And so I'm fascinated in faces. I love, I love them. I think we, we don't know what a human being really is. There's no pure human being anymore. I think pretty much we're all cyborgs or androids in a sense because we all carry around this technology completely with us to me it's more about questions i'm not saying i know the answers to these things whether that's the way to go or not to go but i think it's important that we do ask questions and, but we there's an interesting thing that we we tend to make this technology in our own image image and we do it in a way that we create these flawless beings as well we don't create um, humans that look unwell or old or imperfect we create young perfect wrinkle free specimens and i don't know why but i find that interesting so i, I bring it into the work the idea of beauty and this, this human beauty idealized beauty there's a mystery some people though will say that they know and on here right the, the, the uber geeks let's say maybe or with me like so all the ones that are older, <laughs> because they look on the discs and then they see some familiar things like games they used to play or software they used to use. So they, they have some idea, but sometimes it's a complete mystery. There's very personal files, just names of very personal things you would never know. So it's, some of it is a complete mystery on here. You have no real reality. There's no reality or essence, anything real. There's just different layers of simulation, simulacra, and so. There is a reference to a long time ago, Leonardo da Vinci painting, but he was also referring to the person that was sitting in the room by painting. But then the records are a reproduction and a simulation of a, what was a live recording, music. And then, well, the, the digital realm, there's so many yes. layers of simulation going on. But we don't think of it. We think, oh, it's real. You know, like Twitter, that's real stuff. But actually it's a simulation, quite often, of a simulation of maybe another simulation. <laughs> Many layers to it. But with art, it tells you about the feeling of the time, about how what people were feeling. You know, different sort of sense. Not, it's not so dry, it's, there's a real emotion. You know, it's, what was the human part of living then? And I think art is good for that. And it's also part of the job, I think, for the artist to describe what it was happening today for people.